So hey, saints and lovers of STEM, now that I am past my Open Source Hardware Summit keynote, it's time for me to get back to my open source robotics use case implementation. Today's design will be using an infrared remote to turn lights on and off, use a buzzer to play music and to move the robot around. I will make several small videos because I found out that works better than the long ones to show how to wire the robot up, how to write the code and how to get the robot moving. I will say that this robot is the Lilybot. It's the lowest level one, the more entry level novice robot. And actually I had to get this one done because in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be gifting this robot to some young person as part of a raffle for my homeowners association. So stay tuned and come back for all the parts. Stay STEM wonderful. Okay, here we have our infrared remote. And then here we have our infrared receiver. And we're going to walk through the things that the robot does, and then we're going to show how to wire it up and write the program. So the power button makes the robot spin. Then we have a volume button that makes the robot move forward. We have a button that makes the robot spin the other direction. Then we have a button to make the robot go forward. The robot sing and dance. We have another robot to make the robot turn. Let's move it back because we don't want little buddy to drive off the table. That button does nothing. That button does nothing. That button does nothing. But we also have some buttons that control his lights. So let's turn him this way. So the zero makes them all come on. One yellow, two red, three blue for green. So just by pressing the infrared remote, we have programmed the robot to do several things. Now let's see how you wire this robot up to work. And how you write the code.